guys, so Sam, Jack and I are going backpacking in a couple of days around Costa Rica. You can see my beloved backpack here behind me. And basically today I'm gonna do a video all about the stuff that we're taking with us or I'm taking for me and Jack in my backpack. Sam's doing his own stuff. I'm gonna try and be as quick as I can because there's quite a lot to get through. I'm really not taking very much makeup at all. I don't like to wear much at all when I'm traveling. I'm literally taking three eyeliners this brown one, this green one, and this black one. These ones are tiny, that's how old and worn they are. My telescopic L'Oreal mascara, which I just can't live without. I just love it, it's got a tiny brush, and yeah, that's gotta come with me. These two lipsticks, well one of them's a lip conditioner, which I thought would be really great for the sun, and the other one's is kind of rosy brown color. They're by a brand called Ilia, and they come in these really gorgeous like aluminium cases. They're really, really lush lipsticks, so check them out. Deodorant, obs. I'm taking earplugs, because I always just take earplugs whenever we go away, I don't know why. Contact lenses, Liha Idan Oil. I absolutely love this. I put this on my Instagram a couple of months ago. It's basically an oil, it comes in solid form, but then you heat it up and it melts, and I think it'll be really great for the hot weather, because it'll be already melted and it's just the most divine ever smell. It's like coconut oil with tuberose and it's so, so amazing and it's great for perfume, it's great for putting a few drops in a bath. It's just like adding a touch of a luxury for our holiday, I feel. Palmer's Olive Butter Moisturizer. Heels, a powerful wrinkle reducing eye cream. Grown Alchemist Facial Cream Cleanser, so I love this stuff. It's like comes in a cream format and you slather it on your face and it takes off all your makeup, your eye makeup included, and yeah, I just love it. It's an Australian organic skincare range and yeah, I've just discovered them, I really, really love them. The other product I have by them is this absolutely amazing vanilla and orange peel hand cream, which I'm gonna take for the flight because I just love to apply hand cream on flights. My dry shampoo. So you guys probably know that I really love dry shampoo. I make my own. I'll actually link to my blog post about it underneath. Um, but yeah, if I'm going backpacking, this is like a must. Pregnancy wise, I'm gonna be taking my supplements. So my Wild Nutrition Food Grown Pregnancy. My Vitamin D supplements. Although I'm gonna be getting some Vitamin D. Woo! Eye masks. My Spawnet hairbrush. Um, again, I've done a bit of a post about this. I basically use this every night and it helps me reduce the amount of hair shampooing and conditioning I need to do. I haven't got hair shampoo and conditioner here. Sam will pack that stuff. Suntan lotion. Soap uh, for washing. I'm gonna take cow pole just in case. Suntan lotion. Some flannels for Jack. Toothpaste. His toothbrush is somewhere, I couldn't find it, but we'll definitely be taking his toothbrush too. So, clothes wise, since being pregnant I have basically lived in harem pants or hippie pants or buddha pants, whatever you call them, so I'm going to be taking quite a few pairs of them, I'll show you a couple. So I've got these kind of greeny palm tree ones which I absolutely love. These ones, baggy green ones, these ones which are kind of patchworky and cool and weird and quirky, um, I also really like them but they're kind of made of a silk really really beautiful so I'm not sure if they're actually a bit delicate I'll think on that one I'm gonna take a couple of skirts this little number I thought could look quite good with sandals this skirt which again is kind of Caribbean-esque which I thought is quite appropriate and it's a completely loose waist so it's perfect for being pregnant and then you just tie it up with these little strings and this one just with a, a bright colored top I'm gonna take one dress and see how that goes. It's sort of a long floaty maxi dress number. I just thought maybe in the evenings if we go somewhere vaguely nice, I might wear the dress. American apparel, leggings. Obviously I'm pregnant, I always wear leggings. Some plain black leggings. Obviously I'm taking underwear, socks and bras and pants and stuff, but I don't feel the need to show you guys that. Bikinis, my favorite bikinis, this one and this one. They're both sort of bandos. They're from Calzedonia, and I love them. They're super comfortable. They're quite stretchy, so I'm hoping that they will still fit with my expanding figure. Top-wise, I'm just gonna take loads of baggy and kind of plain t-shirty type things. So this kind of thing, strap top, this flowery baggy number. I haven't got any pregnancy shorts, so yeah. Just gonna have to improvise, really. This baggy white number could go over leggings. Plain black top, 
baggy grey t-shirt. Just more t-shirts basically, just easy baggy plain things to wear if it's hot, just so I don't have to think about anything like that when I'm there. My flight socks for the flight. Shoe wise, I think I'm literally just gonna take my Converse and my sandals. I'm not gonna take any heels or anything like that because yeah, we don't have space and I just don't think we're gonna need to be dressing up. Nappies, so I'm not sure how many nappies we're gonna take because I think we'll probably stop off at a shop when we get there and get things like that. A little pair of cutlery, just a few ready-made meals, if not just for the plane, just emergency. Ditto Weetabix, like you always need Weetabix for those mornings when you're just not gonna be getting out fast enough for, to get the little one's food. So yeah, just Weetabix for Jack for those times of need. Bottles, cup, a bowl, dummies. We're gonna take a couple of these for Jack, just for the flight and for sleeping. Yeah, he's still a dummy boy. Baby wipes. We are gonna take some toys for Jack, just to keep him amused, if not just for the journey. But I think the plan is maybe when we're out there, we'll just buy some kind of cheapish toys to keep him happy as we go along, and maybe we won't take them back with us, maybe we'll donate them, I don't know. But we'll take a couple of things to keep us going. This is our little bag of toys, and it basically contains Jack's favorite books. This might be a little bit over ambitious, but a puzzle, it's got letters on it, and Jack's really loving it, and it doesn't take up too much space, so I thought that could be quite a good thing. A slinky, he's obsessed with them, they don't take up much space, hours of entertainment. These little cups, good for the bath, but good for just measuring things out. Bubbles, Jack is obsessed with bubbles right now, and they're really small, and yeah, an easy thing to take to keep him amused. One of the crayons that I made, so I'll take that with some paper and just get him drawing. And then basically just a selection of his favourite cars. So in there, there's just loads of his little cars that he likes. Like this one, he just zooms around holding it and pushing it, so I figured, yeah, I feel like that could be good aisle activity for the plane. Ah. We're also going to be taking his reins, so this are the cutest reins I got for him. Look, they've got a little monkey on the front and they go on his back like this and the rein comes out here as the tail. I figured just because we're hopefully going to be seeing monkeys, this will be really cute for him to have, like his own little monkey on his back and hopefully keep him safe. This raincoat, this little cute dinosaur raincoat, it can be quite bad weather in Costa Rica in that there can be like sudden torrential downpours and then it's sunny again and then downpour. So I just figured this might be quite a good thing to have on us. We're going to take the ergo carrier for any hiking that we do. Hopefully Jack still fits into it. This which we'll definitely need which is a buggy cover. It's like a snoo shade so it's great for the sun and keeping the sun out but it's also really good for at night for keeping light out. So if we take Jack out and we're say going for a meal that's late and he'll be sleeping in the buggy, this is amazing for blocking out light and noise. Jack's sunglasses, again he doesn't really wear them like proper sunglasses, but he kind of really loves wearing them. So even if they're for sun reasons or just for fun, I feel like they'd be a good thing to take. They're so cute. <laughs> Obviously things like sleep suits, a couple of these. I'm just going to show you some of my favourite bits. I love his little tie-dye t-shirt, his Guns N' Roses t-shirt. I really like this one from Next, really cute. Just thought this is really cute, like island beach bum. And then a couple of trousers that I'm going to be taking for him in the evening when it gets a bit cooler. These super cool urchin print trousers from Little Prince Clothing. So look at the little cute lime green patch on the bottom. Yeah, I just thought they're really, really funky for Costa Rica and yeah, nicer for the evening when it gets a bit chilly. These trousers um, from my friend Sophie who makes these divine little harib pants. These are from a shop called Sophie and Co Shop. Again, I'll link to all these people below kind of favourite brand that Jack wears a lot is this one called Fox and the Travelling Gypsy. Just the cutest little culottes. Finally Jack's going to have a chance to wear them. And then just some cute shorts. These are actually from a charity shop so these were £2. I love these with the little whale detail on them. Some swimming nappies but hopefully he'll probably just be kind of naked. Trunks. Hats. I know he's really bad with sun hats, so I'm probably gonna have to take him too. Armbands. So I feel like he may be able to like get in the water properly and with the armbands hopefully be a bit independent. And then this coat, just in case it gets really chilly in the evenings, I'll probably take a coat as well. It's from Scout & Co. I absolutely love it. Look at the sun on the back. Shoe-wise for Jack. His little Converse, my fave. His Crocs, hopefully he still fits them. I need to try them. Obviously socks and stuff. 
relax. Medical book, my hospital notes. I'm gonna take my hypnobirthing book, yeah, to hopefully lie on the beach and read and get really into this. I'm gonna take my notepad, I just always travel with this in case I have any ideas for vlogging and blogging and content along the way. I'm gonna take this tiny little travel candle. It's by the Portfolio Collection. It's like a rose scent, it's so, so gorgeous. And it's just perfect for travel, just to have on us. You know, when we get there, if there's, I don't know, just the odd time, might feel like lighting a candle. So yeah, I'm gonna be taking this. Sunglasses, obviously. Ding. Thank you so much for watching, guys. I know that this is a lot of stuff, but there's a lot of stuff to pack when you go backpacking with a toddler. I'm going to be uploading vlog and a blog all about our experiences, so keep an eye out for that. Please subscribe to the channel or leave me a comment or a thumbs up. I'd love to know what you guys think. So yeah, thanks so much for watching as ever. Take lots of care and we'll see you next time. Post our adventures. Bye.